Hey guys, Chris Ignato here. You're watching my channel while I watch this beautiful snowfall. I love the snow. And you know, it might be the dead of winter, but life still stirs in the landscape all around me. There's activity deep underground with plants, you know, tree roots, all sorts of insects and mammals and things like that. The plants themselves may appear dormant, but even they are active and still doing things this time of year. In fact, like I said, insects are still stirring about, living in little pockets and underneath bark and cocoons, which is what I want to talk about. You know those little things that you find on evergreen trees? It looks like a little upside down Christmas tree made of leaves or pine needles. Well, I want to show you what's inside those. It's kind of cool. Hope you enjoy. So these are the bagworms uh, that I took off that cedar tree the one day. and Or juniper, I can't remember. Um, well, I could just look at these. And inside of these, each of these, is a little grub. Okay, here's one I cut open. It's not a grub now, it's a little cocoon. It's a pupa, is what I should say. And this thing's alive. Now it's tethered with a little string of silk. These cases that they make, these little protective homes, are extremely tough. Okay, they're very hard to tear into. And I'm an adult human being. And they're, as I said, they're, they're pretty hard to tear into. So these do a good job at protecting the larva within. Now these can get out of control and really cause a lot of harm to the tree, causing entire branches to die off if there's enough of them. I don't know if they feed on the juices or what, but, well yeah, they feed on the tree, slowly starving them of nutrition. So, uh, and then once this is done, a moth will emerge and uh, look for a mate, continue the life cycle. An interesting thing about the case worms is when the males reach adult stage, they'll emerge from an opening at the bottom of the case. The females never leave the case. They'll just kind of stick out the bottom and she emits pheromones that attract males from all around so that, well, they can reproduce. Another thing is, I'm sure this would be good food in a survival situation. You find one of these just covered with a bunch of them. Or one of the trees covered with a bunch of these. I meant to say.